All right, I'm back. Damn, this whole thing's coming apart behind us. So I, I actually died by standing still and not moving forward, so... Um, I, I, I think this is a time-sensitive area. I gotta hurry. So I don't even have a chance to really look at the scenery. So far, so good, though. I'm just running straight forward. Uh, okay, yeah, straight down, that's fine. God, look at all these markers. For all this raging stuff outside, it's very calm in here. All I can really hear is the music and some of the rocks breaking apart. Oh, there goes a the statue. Well, or fossilized, hey, whatever they are. Oh, you got an enemy. That's fine. I feel like I need to continue moving fast. Okay, got him. Really? Oh my god, just leave me alone. Is there more of them? Oh god, we got slappy tentacles. One. Oh, I just got that second shot. That was fortunate. There we go, now he's dead. Not sure if there's more enemies. Take a heal, and we're moving on. Whoa, okay, nope, that's fine. Ew, there's this giant moon butt, or maybe that's his mouth. Maybe his mouth is his butt. Maybe his butt is his mouth. Am I gonna fly right into him? This seems like a bad idea. It's a, it's an Isaac kind of idea, though, I guess. Okay. Giant boulder. Okay, we cleared it. More boulders. There we go. Have a rocket. There we go. Have a rocket. Have rockets for everybody. I couldn't lock onto that one. Whoa, big old boulder there. That's fine. We cleared it. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know that was a chunk of something. Oh, yeah, I don't have the thing to catch me. Oh, is this some of the ice planted surface? Uh, I guess I'll get some supplies real fast. Yeah, that's what I need. I need stuff like somatic gel at a time like this. Just give me, like, actually consumable items. Yeah, this is a portion of the ice... Oh! Witcher! Okay, we're good. Got a hit on me, but it wasn't too bad. Oh. Okay, I don't think that's an enemy. I think that's just a giant... That's an enemy, though. Stay still! There we go. Okay, so killing the tentacles removes the big ones that are blocking the way. Oh, God! Now you don't. He's still alive, I think. Terrible aim. I think I need to keep moving. Okay. Oh, I remember these little tunnels that we kept going through. Ow. That was clearly the wrong way. A, a not-so-subtle warning, like, hey, wrong way! Uh, advanced puker. 
Can you take more than two shots? I love doing that. Oh, another twitcher or regular guy? Oh god, I think the area is coming apart behind me. Run! You'll never catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, it caught up to me. God damn it. That's the only thing that can kill me in this game are like non-combat things. Whatever. I'm not even going to gather any supplies. I'm just going to go forward. I don't even care. Just gotta run, that's all I care about. There we go, got him that time. Okay, that put him out of his misery. Grab me some ammo. Oh, there's that guy. Don't worry. I could stop to shoot you. I don't mind doing that. Okay, now we'll take the right turn, and we're going to ignore all the items this time. Okay, we're clear. Gotta go fast! I'm just ignoring him. Okay, progress save. Oh, super dark in here. This area is super corrupted. What part of the planet was this? Okay, this must be a safe. This is a safe area, obviously. They, they wouldn't put a bench here if I was on a time limit, too. I, I, I don't think they would do that. And even if I do die, I I'm right at the very end. Okay. I have a feeling the boss is up ahead. So we're going to fill up on a whole bunch of stuff. Gonna break out all the good stuff. First, we organize our inventory. Scrap these. Pull out our ammo. Let's build some large med packs. One, two, three, four... One more. And then I need... Let's get a ton of ammo. Still more ammo. More ammo. And to top it off, one more ammo. No room. Don't you lie to me, boy. There we go. We're loaded for bear. This is it. It's really dark in here. If it was dark like this throughout the game, it might have been... ...a little scarier. Blood Moon. Yeah, this is obviously the... Oh, jeez! Oh, looks like my helmet isn't working. Oh, we're at another flying section. That's... Oh, there's a big rock. Well, what's the plan, Isaac? Um, um, okay, okay, uh, that's fine. There's a giant tentacle here. And I avoided it. I mean, come on, I must be like a gnat compared to him. He must be like, that, that's pretty good aim to be swinging in my way like that. Oh god, here we go again. This does not look good. Okay. Okay, it wasn't too bad, actually. That's fine. What's this? Oh, is that the machine? Is that my goal? I can't control my character right now. Oh my god, I, I can only imagine how bad his legs feel there. Is that Sauron? Oh, no, it's... Sauron's two-eyed, three-eyed brother? Wow. Obviously, I just want to shoot those eyes so bad right now. 
I want to shoot that eye so bad. Taking the helmet off. Yeah, I guess it's useless at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm so gonna... We gotta kill that thing? There's not enough ammo in the world! We'll have to make some up. Look, this marker's floating all around me. I can use this TK charging plate and throw them as weapons. Use the marker? Throw them as weapons? Oh! Have this! Oh my god! It just like poked the Zion with the marker. How, how does that feel? Oh, what are these guys doing here? Oh, I see. These are unitologist guys. Um, let me throw another one, I guess. No, not yet. I need a target. I don't have an available thing to throw it at. Let, let me... St ew! 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 Yep, I see it. I see it. Oh, God. I don't have a target to throw in. Now we got more of these guys. I think those are like delivery pods. What's happening? Ew, he's got an ultimate weenie dick. There we go. Take that. Ultimate weenie dick isn't ultimate enough. Are we inside of it? I think we're inside of it. Yeah, we're inside of this thing. There's like flesh everywhere. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, these guys are like drop pods, basically. Okay, let me kill him first. Okay, enemies cleared. Here's a marker. Here you go. Ah! Got him! How do you like that? A giant marker in your eye. Make us whole, make us blind. How about that? Throwing more drop pods at me. Nope. Nope. Here's a super version. Is he doing it again with the ultimate weenie dicks? Oh, this part's breaking off. It, it looks like it's breaking apart. Got him. Those things are so big, they're not hard to hit at all. It's so nasty. What are you going to do? Throw more drop pods at me? Yep, here comes some more drop pods. Now they don't have to run as far to get to me. And there's one behind me. Oh, they're all over the place. There we go. The ricocheting action. Electrifying them all. I love this weapon. Oh, oh I got a marker for you. Here it comes. Right into your eye. Oh, I missed. I stink. Give me a marker. There's one. Got him. All three of your Sauron eyes. Big old bug ass Sauron eyes. How do you like that? He's holding on to the machine. I'm guessing. Oh, he's protecting it now? Oh, he doesn't want me to get to it. He, is he eating it? He doesn't want me to get it. It's... Harbor! Harbor! Just hang on! I'm gonna have to pull you through his guts! You mean... Oh, Carver's on there. Oh, I'm using the super kinesis to pull it. Oh, man, it's... Oh, the... That was pretty nasty. <laughs> oh, we, we, okay, we, we got the machine available. Oh, oh, man. Did I just, like, rip his, like, guts open? 
Are we gonna like super dismember him or something? Like super dead space style dismemberment? Like what are we doing? What's my goal? What am I trying to accomplish here? What do I do? Oh, okay. I just had to walk up to it to activate this scene. Isaac? Isaac? Are you there? Kava? Isaac? You're gone, aren't you? The Marcus is gone. It's gone too. Isaac, you did it. You really did it. Earth space coordinates confirmed. Shock drive enabled. Standing by. Well, there you have it, Dead Space 3. I guess I'll reflect a little bit about Dead Space 3. As I said, I don't feel like Dead Space 3 was particularly scary. I just think they... I just felt like they didn't try to be very scary. I think, um, you know, the jump scares were really predictable. You know, they burst out of coffins, burst out of the ice, you know... Nothing to, like... They, they don't build up a whole lot of paranoia. Like, if you think back to Dead Space 1, they did a lot of stuff where... You know, the bad guys would skitter around, but then there would be no bad guys. They would do stuff to kind of, like, make you think that there's some bad guys nearby, but then in the end, you know, there, there was absolutely nothing there. I think they just... I also think the old Necromorphs, you know, they were, like, naked. The old Necromorphs, not all of them, but some of them were just naked, and they just felt more like... I don't know, they just felt more monstrous than these ones, like the... 
a lot of these ones were so like gnarled up and ancient looking that you couldn't even really tell. You could just tell that they were a necromorph and that's it. Like the old necromorphs, like you could see their facial expressions a lot more clearly. Uh, and some of these, they just didn't have a face. Like they either had like the Eskimo hoodies on or like I said, they were just too like gnarled up and you just couldn't really see any like remnant of that humanity left in them. But uh, I also was like, I wasn't too crazy about the story of Dead Space 3. It's not a bad story, but in the beginning, everything just feels so, so fast. It's like Isaac is broken up and then like the, the, the Unitologists, like they've just like become super powerful. They've got all this power, like the Earth government has crumbled. It's like, whoa, whoa, it feels like there should have been like one game in between these to, to cover all of those events. And then you add, like, Norton. I found Norton to be a little bit unbelievable because, I mean, he's, like, the last Earth Battalion. He's, like, this, like, he's a, a, a captain. He's, like, an officer, and yet he's so unhinged. And, you know, I mean, I guess people could be unhinged, but to me it just felt like uh, he, he just felt, he just didn't feel believable as a military ca captain. Like, just uh, not focused on the mission at all. Just really, like, a huge, like, just out for himself. And like, I mean, it's not impossible for people to be like that, but I just couldn't believe it. And then uh, you had uh, Danik, you know, Danik just introduced out of nowhere. Like, I don't think they mentioned him in any in Dead Space 2 at all. Just this guy who's got all this power. He's like commanding the Unitologist. Just too many things just coming out of nowhere. Feels like there should have been a game in between them. Um, and then you've got the moons like, i felt the moons were just kind of ridiculous i'm like okay so the the true form of the necromorph is this giant like moon and so it's using the smaller necromorphs to create its biomass i just felt okay that that's a little that's a tough pill for me to swallow like that's that's a bit much for me to believe that because i felt like when they said make us whole, I felt it was more philosophical. Like, I didn't think it was like a literal thing. Like, no, literally make this necromorph moon whole. Like, I, I just never, it, it just didn't, it was just disappointing to me because, like I said, it was this whole mysterious thing. It's like the catch line of Dead Space is make us whole. And like, it just seemed like with all of the psychological stuff that occurs in the first and second game that the make us whole tagline was philosophical because like remember like you know um nicole in the visions would even say oh you did it isaac we've been made whole well apparently you haven't been made whole because making you whole was actually making the necromorph moon which that i interpret that as they did not intend for the necromorph moon to be the real ending or they or that they didn't know what the ending was going to be when they had the whole make us whole tagline it always felt more what do you call it uh, philosophical like i said and uh oh steve blum look at that in additional cast steve blunt's a really prolific voice actor i, I like him quite a bit uh but yeah, that was the issue there. I just felt it was unbelievable. I'm like, okay, so there's these giant necromorph moons. I don't know about that. that that's a little much for me. And then, like I said, it's the... Oh, Patrick Soderlin. He's like the villain of EA. Nobody likes him. Because I'm, I'm subtly reading. I'm, I'm like passively reading. I also kind of want to see if there's a secret at the end. I feel like there was a secret scene at the end of the... At the credits, so that's why I'm also you know, going to chat about it and buy some time. But yeah, like, I think the problem with Dead Space 3 is it failed on two of the really important things that made Dead Space good. One, it just wasn't very scary. Uh, it's not very dark. You know, th there wasn't a lot of paranoia. It just... I mean, some of it could be, yeah, you've played through the other games, so you're more numb to it. You know, you've adjusted to it. I do think that's part of it, but I guarantee you, if I, I would be shocked if I didn't go back to Dead Space 1 now it would still be scarier. Even though I've already played it pretty recently, I think it would still be creepier feeling. Another big failing, like I said, I think the story was no good. Too many leaps in logic. Not, I'm not saying that Isaac couldn't have broken up or that the Utah Utahs couldn't have come to power, but it just feels like there should have been a game in between to try and make that plot convincing. The, um... Another thing that I didn't like was I felt the side areas were just kind of really super filler content. It's like 
They're way too long. Some of them were fine, like the one with the regenerating necromorph. That one was kind of short. Like I didn't think that one was a problem. I felt like that was about the length they should be. But especially the early ones, oh my god, they just went on and on and on and on and on. And they quickly wore out their welcome. I was, I was getting bored just going through them, grinding up all the necromorphs and... You know, they added it in there as a way for you to A, just spend more hours of gameplay, but B, as well as you know, just a way to grind more resources for their system. Some people complained about the microtransactions in Dead Space, but to be honest, I felt, and I think you could see from this playthrough, I didn't need to use the microtransactions. I mean, like, I used my ration seals, but to be honest, even without using my ration seals, I still had enough tungsten to buy all of those upgrades at the end. So if I didn't spend any of the ration seals, which are the free microtransactions, they're not the paid ones, I still would have been able to build everything. So uh, I felt like it wasn't very effective. Maybe that's the way microtransactions should be, you know, where it doesn't interfere with the game. But, you know, so I guess maybe in some senses I shouldn't be complaining about it. But I just felt like they just weren't needed to begin with, like... The game gave you plenty of resources. One of the easiest ways to get them is actually to scrap the things that you find. Like, I just basically scrapped all of my old chips, basically selling them. And a lot of them will give you tungsten, and you just build up your your library, and then you could just convert them all into the highest quality ones. And even if you didn't do that, there is a new game plus, so you could play through the game a second time and acquire all of the, like, really good upgrades. Uh, so there, that, let's talk about some of the things I did like about Dead Space 3. I really did like the customizations. I like the idea that you could create any weapon that you want. On the other hand, uh, some of the weapons I just think are too good to pass up, like the, the force gun. Just being able to push the enemies back, like pretty much no questions asked. That was just, that's just like the best support weapon. Pretty much any decent main weapon combined with the force gun would be a good weapon to use. Like it, it just was... It just was, like, way too dominant in its power. On the other hand, I thought there were plenty of main weapons that were pretty good. Like, I thought the javelin performed really good. Obviously, the like, lightning taurus, or whatever it's called, that performed really good. The, the rocket launcher was pretty good. In the in hindsight, I don't think I should have upgraded the clip on the, on the rocket launcher, because I, I don't think it actually gave me even one more shot. I think it was still just giving me uh, two, two, two shots in the before you'd have to reload either way so in hindsight i probably should have just put it more into reload just so that the weapon could reload faster but i did like that i felt that there were plenty plenty of viable main weapons as long as you're also using the i mean i guess you don't have to use the plasma wave but it's just so good the melee weapons were interesting but uh, obviously, it's a little bit hard to use against necromorph since melee is their domain like you don't really want to get into melee combat with them I'm not sure what I thought about the chips. I thought the chips were, like, whatever. I, I kind of honestly miss the old, um, the plug-in system from the first two games, the power node system. Like, the chips, I thought, were, like, they were too weak to make a difference until the very end, where you finally had all the plus twos. That's when I felt like the chips finally started to crank up the power of the weapon so it, it's almost like it didn't even matter what chips you used until the very end of the game whereas the power nodes those felt important from the very moment you got them because you'd use the power nodes to unlock the extra doors and then you'd also use the power nodes to upgrade your weapons and you use the power nodes to upgrade your suit whereas this one you had the resources i felt the resources started to get kind of pointless after a while there came a point where I just had so much somatic gel, like, I would have no trouble at all making medkits. So it's like, was that really necessary? What was wrong with credits? Credits, basically, they just took credits and split them into more specific credits. They have, like, somatic credits, tungsten credits, you know, like, uh, transducer credits. And, like, I don't know, like, I didn't find it to be particularly more engaging than just credits as, like, a catch-all resource. But, um, yeah, it was... The, the customization, it had its ups and its downs. As far as the area goes, one thing I was disappointed by was... You, you know, you get out of the outer space area, and now the oxygen thing is gone. So, like, that's kind of like a iconic thing to Dead Space. But then you get onto the ice planet, 
And you think that because the whole thing is that you're on an ice planet that the temperature would play a role, but you don't even spend that long in the cold temperature before you get the snowsuit, and then suddenly that whole mechanic is just abolished. It's just completely removed from the game. You know, maybe it would have been annoying, but it just felt like, why even have it there? Like, why even have the cold mechanic if you're just going to get the snowsuit shortly in? Uh, let me talk about the cast now. Um, I guess I thought Robert kind of stank. I think Robert would have been better if he wasn't a, uh, a military captain. Oh, are we going to get a special scene now? I thought Carver was okay. I felt at the end I was kind of crazy when he was like, Oh, trade the codex for... Wait. Ellie? Ellie? Yep. Yeah, I remember that. There was a there was an ending area where he's like, looks like he lived. Uh, the reason there's an ending there is because of, let's see. If we go to the DLC section. There is an endgame expansion where, where is it? Dead Space 3 Awakened, this expansion right here. I'll read you. Left for dead on Tau Volantis, Isaac Clarke and John Carver face a daunting journey. As madness takes hold, they find they can't trust their eyes or each other. The trek leads to the ship Terra Nova, now home to sadistic cult of unitologists. The horror continues as Dead Space Saga enters its darkest chapter. So they wind up living and obviously they want to get off the planet and whatnot. And that's kind of like the conclusion right there. I, I never played it though. Like, I don't know if I will either. They, um, but one thing to keep in mind, this is the end of Dead Space. Like, the, the, the franchise got put on ice. The people who made it, Visceral Entertainment, a, a division of EA, they got canned. EA dismantled them and left them for dead, basically. And uh, I would say a lot of it had to do with EA's meddling. Uh, throughout the development of Dead Space, EA really wanted the game to be more action-packed. They wanted more ways to put in microtransactions because they're like, uh, horror games aren't profitable enough for them. Dead Space was very successful, but it wasn't successful by like FIFA standards or like Madden standards. So they wound up getting their hands in the pot, turning Dead Space into something it wasn't meant to be, like a more action-based game rather than being like a, a horror-based game. And eventually the interest just died. Uh, like in Dead Space 2, I didn't show it, but there was actually a multiplayer mode that stank and nobody liked it. It was kind of like Left 4 Dead, but it stank. Uh, the original concept of co-op for Dead Space 3 was not to have John Carver. You were originally going to play as Isaac and then a second Isaac, which you might say, well, isn't that lazier? But what they wanted it to be like was that Isaac was still kind of crazy, and it was supposed to be like you have an imaginary friend, so the second Isaac is supposed to be like a figment of your imagination, but then they wanted the story to be like, who is the real Isaac? Is player one the real Isaac? Or is player two the real Isaac? They wanted to kind of have that thing there where, and maybe they'd like argue against each other. You know, he'd be arguing against himself like with his imaginary friend. And I'm like, dude, that sounds like awesome. That sounds like a really funny uh, twist on the idea of having like a clone character. Like in Halo 1, you had Master Chief and Master Chief playing together. But at any rate, that's it. That's the closure of the Dead Space 3 franchise. Let me know what you think. What did you think about... If you've never played Dead Space before, what did you think about it? This uh, is a 2013 game. I think it still looks really good by today's standards, nearly a decade later. But rest in pieces, Dead Space, literally, since, you know, dismemberment and all. I, I don't know if Dead Space will ever come back. Maybe one day they'll reboot it. Uh, and if they do, there's no guarantee that it'll be good. It could be a piece of garbage. Uh, because this was Visceral's baby. You know, this is what they really wanted to make this game. They were heavily inspired by uh, Resident Evil 4, Alien, and The Thing. Alien the movie and Thing the movie. So I don't even know if, if they got a second team to make a reboot, if it would even be good. But it was good for what we got. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And thank you for watching this playthrough of the Dead Space series. Like this video if it was entertaining. Thank you for watching. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good. Thank you.